collaborations we've done with some, some really high profile companies like BASF that have set us apart. Um, I'd love, Grant, just quickly for you to touch on the development process of our novel polymer for the shell and, and what some of the attributes are there that are notable and, and then um, maybe get into the face mask and other materials uh, as well with, with Shadow XR. Yeah, certainly some of the materials that we've utilized in Genus Shadow XR really, you know, make it stand out from the crowd. And I think you, you called out the shell in particular, which is a very novel polymer that we've innovated with the material science partner BASF. It's unique in that it's supremely durable, and we'll get into what that means in a second year, but also uh, what you touched on is it's actually 10% lighter than comparable materials that are typically used in the industry for shells. And, you know, 10%, it, it might not sound like much, but it's all the more important because it's actually, it's the furthest away from the head. And so why this is important is it comes back to that balance issue, right? And so the, the closer in you can bring sort of the mass or the weight of the helmet to the head, um, the smaller the package and the lighter the materials, the more balance and the more agile it's going to feel. And so that's, that's one of the kind of the main points of the shell is that it is actually lighter, but you're not sacrificing any of that durability with the shell. And so when it comes to critical components like the shell, we are extremely robust and thorough in our testing. And so what we know is that, you know, a typical lifespan for a helmet could be as many as 10 years. That's a long time when you consider, you know, the number of impacts that a helmet's gonna take through that lifetime. And so we've estimated that to be through, you know, some studies that we've done and some literature out there in the field. It's about 10,000 impacts to, to subject this component to. And so we actually do an accelerated aging test in the lab where we subject the helmet to over 10,000 um, comparable impacts in the lab to ensure that performance on day one is equivalent to performance on day 3,000. And so that's something that we've, you know, we've been able to dial in with uh, the novel polymer shell that's on Shadow and Shadow XR, uh, which is great. And then similarly, when you work your way inside to kind of the energy control layer, which uh, I know we'll get into with the Rion material, it's a similar uh, dynamic there where you have to make sure that the primary components can withstand the rigorous lifespan of the, of the whole helmet system. And so similarly, subjecting those to 10,000 cycles of impact to make sure that the energy control capabilities of that material is great on the first impact as it is on that 10,000th impact. Um, so very unique materials and a very rigorous approach to making sure that the helmet is, you know, great for that, that whole lifespan. We want you to stay healthy and safe out there. And if you have any other questions, I would certainly encourage you to reach out to uh, Tom Mercer at uh, teammercer at zenith.com. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your guys' time and uh, stay safe out there. Thank That's you. Right.